Hi, this is James Garden, the New Tech Geek, and I'm at Sony with Gary Mandel. And he's pretty much the high dynamic range man at Sony. And Sony have done some significant moves in the high dynamic range market. And just to start off with that, there's a thing called the BVM X300. Yes. Now, that is pretty much the monitor to get now if you wanted to get into high dynamic range. Can you please tell us a little bit about that monitor? The, it's a monitor we introduced last year. Uh, it's a 30-inch 4K OLED, an RGB OLED, uh, of a new panel technology we made. We modified the OLED technology so that it could do HDR and had the brightness. So normally where we were at 100 nits on a normal monitor, now we're able to output about 1,000 nits wow. on that. Um, it's been adopted by by everybody. Uh, yeah. it's, it's really amazing. It's, it seems to be the one to get if you're going seriously into high dynamic range. Now one of the things I want to quickly um, bounce off that on, on OLED is some people talk about OLEDs and the fact that they can burn out and other issues like that. Now that not, might not be an issue because realistically um, high dynamic range, the average luminance is still around 100 nits. So is there any issue with longevity of those screens? Actually no. The, the guys in Japan are pretty clever. Yeah. Um, doing some work, we did a number of things in the panel, changing uh, the emission layers, changing some of the architecture and the layering in the panel. And what that did is uh, they were able to get a lot more brightness out of it than what we had before. The other thing that we have as an advantage is it's an OLED technology called top emission. And what that does is the light comes out of the top, where in a lot of other tech OLED technologies it comes out of the bottom. And what that does is the aperture area on the monitor is much larger. So each individual subpixel has a, a larger area for the light to come out. So we don't have to drive it as hard. So it doesn't take so much current and, right. the, and it lasts longer. That's right. So normally we're getting about 30,000 hours. Out of the monitor. Really? Fantastic. Yeah. So that's a decent now. Let's move on to a new product at the show. And you call it the client monitor? It's our client monitor. It's called a PVM X300. It's a 55 inch OLED. Uh, it's a different type of OLED technology. It actually is a bottom emission uh, panel. Um, but what it is, is large. Yes. Uh, and that's been the biggest thing. The one thing about the BVM X300, the 30 inch, has been that uh, the colorists are the only ones that can see it. They tr you start putting clients around it, everybody's huddling over the guy's shoulders, and they hate it. So they wanted something large, maybe not quite as accurate, and maybe not as precise or as stable, but something that the client can look at and at least have some confidence in. So we've come up now with this. Uh, we're introducing it to the show this year, uh, and we've gotten a great response from it. Yeah, so specifically, um, one of the big challenges with going to high dynamic range is the fact that the deliverables are becoming more complicated because you'll need a like potentially a Rec 2020 colored volume master, a P3 for your theatrical release master, and you'll need a 709 um, grade for your you know, domestic master. Now, obviously going down from high dynamic range to each of these colour volumes, there are compromises to be made, but you want to actually make sure that the compromises you do from one grade to the next are all aligned and all look correct and all the skin tones are right, so you can actually, with this monitor, have quadrants displaying each of those dynamic range right next to each other. Yes. One of the things that uh, has come up is it used to be you only had one deliverable. That's right. So it was very easy and you needed one monitor. But now everybody has multiple deliverables and there are multiple paths that this content comes out. Right. Yeah. And now you're doing all these different passes. If you have to look at it again and again on the monitor, you really lose your point of interest or your point of re uh, reference of where did I actually set this. So in this quad view that we've added to the monitor, you're able to set every every parameter of that picture. So you can pick you can pick the color gamut, you can pick the EOTF, the white point, the brightness, the frame rate, the uh, pixel count, whatever it's going to be, and make a direct comparison on the same panel with all of these formats. Yes, that's that's a. I found that really good um, and well very useful for this new future of so many deliverables and different color volumes but there was also another nice little feature where you could simulate um, different panels with different luminance peaks is that correct that's correct right so if you wanted well even an HDR you could yes, that's what have I mean. it yes HDR, yeah. you could have an HDR quadrant yes. showing you as a uh, you could have a 2084 quadrant you could have an HLG quadrant and you could have your 709 quadrant all on the same panel and go direct comparison with all of those. The all of those parameters are completely independent of each other. So, so these these are important issues so people understand. Um, you, we understand that um, when people are viewing this content at home, they're viewing it on you know monitors which aren't grade one monitors. They have 
you know, flexibility of better or worse sort of um, colors and luminances. So what this quadrant system does is allows you to give you an idea how the image will behave in that sort of circumstances and then gives you the editorial capability to make a decision if you want to make a compromise to make it look better under certain uh, certain compromises. Exactly. And th that's a that's a really nice tool. It's, uh, when I saw it, I understood it straight away. Um, but I'm just trying to help those who, when you get into this level of production and, and editorial decision making, those issues become significant issues. Right. You can kind of think of it as I have four different monitors. That's right. But I don't have the variabilities of the calibrations between the monitors. That's right. I'm just taking that all out. So That's right. So what I'm comparing is what I'm comparing. That's right. Apples to apples. Apples to apples. Exactly. <laughs> anyway, thank you very much. Very in, uh, in, interesting, and thank yeah. you, uh, thanks Sony for bringing out that uh, PVM monitor. Thank you. And if you're lucky enough to afford one, bring me down. I'd like to have a look at a, a grade and that sort of workflow one day. Anyway, that's James Gardner at the Sony booth for NAB 2016. Bye for now.